I had an 8 a.m. this morning, can you tell? Hey guys, it's Reagan, and today I'm going to be filming my January book haul, which is exciting because who doesn't love a good book haul? Anyway, so this month I have a few books to show you guys. I've been doing pretty good on my word to control my book buying, but as we all know, I still buy the books because I love the books. But let's get started. The very first book I have to show you guys is not a book but a graphic novel and it is Saga Volume 4 Shock Surprise. None of those things are true because this isn't surprising. <laughs> this is the fourth volume to the Saga graphic novel series which I love. I, I really enjoy this graphic novel series. I'm sure many of you have heard of it. It's just a kind of space Romeo Juliet opera thing. It's awesome. It is for adult audiences. I haven't read this yet so no spoilers but it's gonna be a great time. I literally just flipped this open and it was just like oral sex. I'm not kidding about mature audiences only people. Next is a book that I totally bought on a whim in Barnes & Noble in California. I think I just wanted to bring home a little souvenir. And it is Into the Wild by John Krakauer. Is this considered nonfiction? I don't know. But it tells a real life story about a man in the 1950s, like a really wealthy man, who just gives up everything and wanders into the Alaskan wilderness and then his body is found sometime later. It sounds intense and very interesting and obviously because it is a true story it kind of carries that extra weight. I've heard really great things about this and I honestly feel like one of the only people who haven't read it because when I picked it up to buy it like four people stopped me and was like oh that's a good book and I was like this is I do how have I not so I bought it. Next book I'm going to show you guys is an ARC, and that is A Darker Shade of Magic by Miss V.E. Schwab. She sent me this for Christmas, which is the greatest thing in the entire world. This is Victoria's newest release, which comes out in February, and I'm actually almost done with it. Like, I ain't got much left. This is a, an adult fantasy novel, which is awesome. It follows our main character, Kel, who is a magician who can travel between parallel worlds and he travels between different Londons and he travels between three different Londons one London doesn't have any magic his homeland red London has lots of magic and the last London white London is a scary place that you don't really want to go to and um, I'm really really enjoying this so far I think the magic system is really interesting I love the characters and it's just a grand old time I've never not enjoyed a Victoria Schwab book so I knew going in that this is going to be great and I have, I'm not disappointed so far. This is not a wrap up, but everyone go buy this book, okay? Next I have to show you guys was a book sent to me by Penguin and it is I Was Here by Gail Foreman. I feel like the only person in the entire world who has not read a Gail Foreman book. I haven't. Anyway, this book follows I think a girl whose best friend committed suicide or maybe she's about to commit suicide. Not really a genre that I like to read or usually read that being contemporary, but I'll see. I'll see if this gets good reviews and maybe I will pick it up as well and let you guys know if I enjoy it, but yeah. The next two books were also sent to me by Penguin and it is Blythewood and Raven... what? Ravencliff. <laughs> um, and this is a paranormal fantasy book, I think centering in around a boarding school, which sounds really intriguing, so that's why I, just, I was like, yes, yeah, send those to me. So I actually am quite excited to read these, especially when it's like, because I love a good darker and atmosphere, little angsty young adult paranormal fantasy book set in a boarding school. It just sounds like a grand old time, so, and these covers are really nice really nice. And the next book Penguin sent me is Zodiac by Romina Russell. Russell. This is a fantasy slash sci-fi novel setting around astrology. There are obviously 12 zodiac signs. I'm a cancer if you're wondering. And in this novel everyone should be aware of the 13th sign and I think that 13th sign comes back or is raining doing evil things so and the last book Penguin sent me, which is the greatest thing ever, and I obviously, I would have pre-ordered this book if I didn't get it early, and it was Gathering Darkness by Morgan Rhodes. This is the third book to the Fallen Kingdom series, which I really, 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 really like. Fallen Kingdoms follows four different perspectives in a fantasy setting. It's really great. If you're intimidated by fantasy, the Fallen Kingdom series is really a great place to start, especially if you want to read from multiple perspectives. I'm planning on reading this very, very soon. I'm very excited. This book I have to show you guys, I have no idea if I've hauled, so I'm really sorry if I have, and it is um, The History of Rain by Neil Niall Williams. This was long listed for the Man Booker Prize, and this novel is just about a young female like tracing the history of her family, 
and all sorts of things. I'm sure it's beautiful and wonderful and probably really depressing, but you know, there's that. Next book I have to show you guys, I've already showed off in a lot of videos recently, but I haven't hauled it. And it is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. This book I'm so excited to read. As I've also said uh, many a times, this follows. This is a post-apocalyptic novel where in which the world ended, uh, for this theater troupe anyway, in the middle of the performance of King Lear, so it just follows them after the world has ended as a theater troupe, and I don't know, it sounds kind of quirky and weird, and it seems like something I'd really enjoy. I did theater for a long time in my life, so just... It just sounds like a fun time. And the last book I have to show you guys is The Miniaturist by Jesse Burton. I've heard such great things about this book, especially near the end of the year when everyone was putting up their top whatever books of 2014. A lot of people mentioned this, which made me really intrigued. And I ended up picking it up at Half Price Books for $13.49. Screaming good deal, everyone. This is set in Amsterdam, and it follows a young woman who recently just got married, like an arranged marriage. And her husband gives her a miniature of the house they live in and then she starts to realize that this miniature um, starts reflecting her life or maybe her life is reflecting the miniature who knows it sounds creepy it sounds like it has a lot of really cool atmosphere I've actually already started this I started it in the bookstore I read the first two chapters and I was really I, I really enjoyed the writing style so that's another reason why I picked this up and um, it's gonna be a grand old time. How many times have I said that in this video? <laughs> All right guys, that is my January book haul. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know down below any books that you're excited that you just bought. And I will see you guys soon with another video soon. Goodbye!